Hi, welcome to lesson number five. So today we have quite a load, um, a little bit of a review at the beginning in our theory book, um, but there are a lot of songs that you're going to be practicing this week. So just as a heads up, be ready for it. Um, we're going to start in our theory book, so make sure you have a pencil with you and we're going to get started. So for theory today, we're working on pages eight and nine. Um, and this is one of those days where I want you to actually turn the video off and I want you to go through and answer all of these questions, okay? So there's 18 questions throughout this song and they're just gonna talk about some different things. So go ahead and turn the video off and do it, do the pages and then um, turn it back on and I'm gonna give you the answers. Okay, so welcome back. Um, we're gonna start with number one. We're just gonna talk through here. So name the flat and the key signature. This is B flat. The eighth notes begin on beat. So here this first beat, one, two, and three, and so beat two. Okay, name the chord. This is an F first chord. Okay, so it's a first chord or an F chord. F first chord. Um, <clears throat> name the, or F major, <laughs> okay. Name the interval from a D to an A, that's gonna be a fourth. Identify the curved line as a slur or a tie. So if you remember, slurs are when you tie a bunch of notes or connect a bunch of notes together in a legato fashion. Um, and a tie is gonna go from the same note to the same note. Um, so this is a slur, okay, not a tie. Does the left hand begin on a tonic or a dominant? So if I were to have my, we're in the key of F, F here. Um, this is the tonic, tonic up to dominant. Okay, so my C there is going to be the dominant. Um, number seven, name the interval from C to an A, that's going to be a third. Name the interval from D to an A, that's a fourth. Okay, um, name the chord. This chord, looking here. Okay, that is an A major chord. All right, name the two right-hand accidentals. So accidentals are sharps or flats or naturals <clears throat> that aren't already specified in your time signature. So my C sharps are an accidental and also the B flats because B flats are supposed, Bs are supposed to be flat. So this B natural, excuse me, the B natural is an accidental as well. <clears throat> All right, the beats one, two, three for measure 20. So looking here, this is measure 21. So this is measure 20 here underneath. So it's gonna go one, two, and three, and. Okay, so one, two, three. All right, name the chord tones. So the bottom is the, it's an A, okay. Middle is C sharp, top is E. I think that's what it means there. <laughs> I hope so. All right, name the chord tones. Here we have, again, the A, the C sharp, and the F. Okay, so just look here. You're making sure that you're in the treble clef here. So just that's the that's the trick here is you're still in treble clef. <clears throat> it switched over here, the bottom of this page. All right, um, name the chord. Here again, we have an A major. And then name the chord. This is a regular old C chord. Okay, C major. Name the chord, F major. Um, name the left hand ledger note. So if you remember what ledger lines are, it's where we add a line to extend it either above or below the staff. So this note here has a ledger line underneath it to indicate that it's a note that's above the staff line and above this. So this note is D, here's my C, here's my D. Okay, and lastly, I hope I didn't skip any, name the right hand interval. So from an A to an F, A to F, that's gonna be a sixth. Okay, so the next thing they want you to do is play the piece, okay? So this is a really famous piece. You'll recognize it. It's been used in lots of serial commercials. Um, and hopefully in doing this prep work, noticing all the different things, 
it will be easier for you to play. So I'll give you an example of that. Our starting position is an F chord on the bottom, F major. And my four finger is gonna start here on C. So just remember that this whole song has B flats all the way through, except for where the accidentals were. Um, and there's some crossing over with your, your fingers here at the beginning, okay? And it's three, four timing. One, two, ready, go. And it's pretty soft here at the beginning. Cross over. Now the bottom has a melody. position. Switching fingers. And bottom gets the melody again. So you play your top a little bit softer than your bottom. Cross over. the beginning. Switch to the third finger. My sixth at the end. Really soft. Okay. <clears throat> so that's a nice little piece there. Excuse me, my throat is all groggly today. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> Next is our technique and artistry book. So the first page that we're really looking at, and it's just for a reminder, we're not really gonna do much on it, but um, is page three. And all it's talking about is rocking, okay, back and forth and our pedal. All right, so that's gonna play into a factor into some of the songs that we're doing today is this rocking motion and picking up the pedal. As we put down our, our press our keys, we pick the pedal up and then press it down after. So up, down, if you remember. <laughs> so now moving on, we're on page 11, pages 11 through 13 today. Um, and what we're working on is our little round off. Da -da 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 -dun 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 -dun. Okay, so play a little louder to the softer, louder to the softer, louder to the softer. Okay, so we're working on that those dynamics there. So the first little part and then the second part eight note scoops. <clears throat> okay, we're doing the same thing. We're gonna just, da -da 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 -da. okay, and you're gonna get quieter, start loud and get quieter. Okay, I'm also gonna turn to this next page and give you both of the examples at the same time. Um, looking at this tropical fish piece, okay, it says the pedal creates a dreamy underwater sound. So if you notice on your pedal, you have just a few lift ups. So you're kind of smushing it together to make it a, a dreamy type sound, but you are going to still lift up in spots. <clears throat> says, play with light thumbs for the eighth note passages. So these are rocking. Da, 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 da. Okay. Um, and then let's see if there's anything else. You have some round offs here, or actually these are your deep bows. Da, da, where you bow into your your chords, okay, and then back to rotation there. So um, up here in the treble clef there, and it looks like we should be able to do this. So make sure you go an octave higher at the very end. All right, so let me give you an example of both of these pages. So flip back first to page 11. And the first song, 4-4 um, four, four timing. One, two, ready, go. Working on the loud, oops, sorry, to soft, so soft, soft, loud, soft, okay, and it tells you to continue, clear up to the next C. Okay. 
And then on the bottom, eight note scoops. We're gonna do the same thing, start on C and work our way up. One, two, three, four, da 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 da. This works with our scales. Oh, I'm not doing very good at my dynamics. So we're doing loud to soft. Oops. So do a better job than I did. <laughs> Start loud, then go softer on each of those. All right, so then turning the page to page 12 and 13, here's an example of tropical fish. Okay, one, two, ready, go. So that's kind of a, a little bit of a dissonant sounding song. Some of these um, don't generally um, just sound good together, but <laughs> they do fine in that song. All right. So moving on to our lesson book, we're on page 16 and 17. And surprise, this is the exact same song that you did in your theory book. So, um, you can practice it there or you can practice it here, either one. This is the cleaner looking version because you haven't written all over in it. So I think they just are giving you the opportunity to um, play it easier without all your writing on the top. So um, I'm not going to give you an example of this again because we did it. <laughs> okay, so we're going to actually go ahead and move on to our performance book. Um, which is a little song called Persian Market. So in this song, we have rocking back and forth. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, and we have some repeats. The first time you're going to play it loud. The second time you're going to play it soft on your repeat. And watch your staccatos. Um, you've got staccato, staccato, and then a hold. Okay, so you have that quite a few times. Then your left hand will get the melody down below here um, and go continue on there. And then got a little bit of a scale into here, back up, um, back to kind of what the beginning sounded like. And at the end we have an octave higher and an octave lower. Down in two, uh, double pianissimo, okay? All right, so here's this song. We're starting on F, low F, and Five finger on C and two finger on G. Okay? One, two, ready, go. Oh, and notice it's supposed to be done pretty fast. On the top, it says busily. And this, this um, tempo is very fast. So um, I'm going to play it kind of quick, okay? One, two, ready, go.
So that's a fun little tune. All right, and last but not least. So for today's lesson, you're going to be working on hand in number five. And again, you're just gonna practice that every day with your songs. Um, make sure that your beat is even, that you're doing the best that you can to um, start slow and then get faster as you improve. Um, make sure that your fingers aren't mushing the notes together, that they're very clear and precise and best of luck.